This is your day for a miracle. Listen, I'm telling you, we have been seeing miracles all over the U.S. and around the world. I have seen God untwist people out of wheelchairs. Just come back from St. Louis. It has been phenomenal. I want you to know today is your day for a miracle. And the Lord has not forgotten about you. Now listen to this. No matter how long you've had your sickness or disease, no matter how long you've had cancer or whatever the doctors have told you, Jesus heals today. And that's why we come on this show every day to encourage you that Jesus heals today. I am so excited to be here with you today on this set. I have a special friend. He's a son in the gospel to me. He's been with me for the last few years. I am so excited about uh, his uh, arrival here. I was happy to see him because I hadn't seen him in a while. But you may know him from uh, a lot of TV shows and the movie The Big Screen. A major actor, but he's a man of God. Did you hear that? A major actor, but he is a man of God. We have Richard T. Jones. I'm so happy to have you here. God bless you. God bless you, sir. How you been doing? Uh, I've been blessed. You know, God is always good. And uh, yeah. uh, I was uh, um, just uh, getting over um, Why Did I Get Married too. I have a movie coming out on June 10th called uh. Super 8 with J.J. Abrams and oh. Spielberg movie. It's a big, big movie coming I've out. I've seen that you trailer. You saw the trailer? Yeah, right. yes. yeah. So, uh, yeah. so excited about that. And hopefully that comes out. Tremendous. Okay. And, and do well. a lot of people really knew you from the, the show, uh, the Amy show. Oh, does it Amy, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And also the Sarah Connor uh, uh, Chronicles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Terminator. Connor. Yeah, Terminator. It's tremendous what guys were doing. But a lot of them don't know your lifestyle behind the scenes. No. <laughs> <laughs> because I've seen, like, in Why Did I Get Married, you play the criminal almost. Right, right, right. <laughs> the bad, the guy. bad guy. Yeah, bad yeah. Guy. yeah. But yeah, they, right. don't, they don't really know the real you. Uh, but I know you and uh, many other people knowing that you're a man of God uh, and that you love God. Why don't you tell the people how, you know, your relationship with God? Oh, uh, when it comes to God, he is, he's everything. You know, God, um, he, Jesus appeared to me when I was, um, um, well, I'm 39 now, so I was about 30, 34 at the yes. time. And uh, he appeared to me um, and changed my life. I was actually uh, doing just. Okay, you were doing Judging Amy. Yeah. And the Lord appeared to you yeah. at 34. Yeah. Around that time. Yeah. And that's when, because you told me how you were out there like other actors and you were backslidden. Yeah. But oh, God yeah. brought you back. He brought me back. He um, he prepared me because I tell you, I I did not like the show that I was on. I was on Judging Amy and I was having a hard time with it. I just didn't like my character. And, right. And all that, and my character was a, a, a Christian, and, you know, and I was like, "Oh man, I was that guy." I was like, "Oh, I don't agree with him." And right, right. So I had so many diff difficulties with my character, mm -hmm. and um, and uh, me and my wife were on the outs. I was about to leave my wife, leave my family, um, wow. and God appears to me in my little apartment that I was renting out wow. at the time, and um, told me to go back home and. Um, uh, show me my blessing, you know, told me I've always blessed you, and, uh, uh, you know, why have you forsaken me? You know, I really had my Paul of Damascus moment, wow. you know, and um, and uh, just turned everything around from, from that point on. The scales of my eyes were off. I picked up the Bible for the first time in my life and could read it like it was a Dr. Seuss book. It was just that simple, <laughs> wow. you know, for the first time. It was just like, wow. Okay, so the dog chased the cat. It, 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 he really started breaking things down to the simplicity, which I never, I used to get like tired of reading the Bible. And wow. now, all of a sudden, I couldn't get enough. Wow. And uh, so he gave me this like supernatural desire just to get into the Word of God, to get into the, um, the written Word of God. And, um, and uh, of course, being who I was, I was like, oh, well, okay, well, I'll just do this alone. And, you know, maybe I'll find another wife, and God was like, no, I want you to be blessed in the blessing That's right. that, I, that I presented to you. Yes. So I went back home, my wife was there, waited for me with open arms. Wow. And um, and Nancy, by the way, his wife is oh, just, she's phenomenal. She's that, amazing. Her, her wife. <laughs> <laughs> she's amazing. And uh, and my kids, mm -hmm. uh, they were there, and, uh, and 
he started teaching me how to be a dad, how to yes. be a father for the first time. Wow. He started showing me his nature through watching my kids and how he loved me through watching my kids and how I love my kids and how patient he is with me as I watch my kids grow. And wow. He taught me so many different things about our relationship by watching the my children. relationship with the children. But it's just amazing because I remember when I met you in, yeah. what year was that? Uh, oh, out in California. Man. Yeah, it was uh, 2000 and... It was after this Yeah, it had, time. It had to be five, 2005, yeah, 2006. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I know it was after this conversion. Oh, yeah, event. yeah, definitely, yeah. And, and, I mean, you were just, I mean, you were on fire. You were oh. blazing. <laughs> you still on fire oh, now. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But, oh, uh, yeah. I mean, when you told me your testimony, I, I, I couldn't even tell you were the same person. Oh, <laughs> it's just amazing. Well, thank you. Now yeah. I'm a lot more. I was a lot more amped. Been the, now I'm a lot more calm. You yes, know, more, yes. I, you know, I have a relationship now, and uh, yes. I was seeking that relationship. Yes. And uh, I remember meeting you, and you were just like telling me all these revelations of God. I'm sitting there like, wow. <laughs> you know, like, what is he doing? <laughs> you know. And, uh, yes. and our story is just amazing. When yes. people say, how did you guys be? Right. We met outside of a building. Just, That's right. You know, and a friend of mine asked me to ask you to see if I could give you a ride. Remember yes, it was like exactly. That? Then, right. then we went out to dinner and then, you know, and yes. the rest is history. Um, and uh, but just the way God organized that yes. and set that up, it, was it is. It was amazing, yeah. and we were talking about uh, at that table. Yeah, the dreams of how God said He would visit Chicago. That's right, and That's that right. happened a year or two later, yeah. which That's is right. a part of that. That's right, and uh, it's 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 amazing the journey that we've had. Yeah, but you know, one of the main thrusts of my life in ministry has been the relate the face to face relationship. Yeah, and I've. One of the things that I've loved, like when I just come back from Korea, how people who are hungry, I know, I know people who are hungry because when I talk about this relationship, it grabs them. Yes. You know, it, 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 it takes them. I remember when I talked to you, start first talking to you about it, you said, I gotta have this. <laughs> That's right. And That's I remember right. that. And, right. and, and you were just, you, you were just, I mean, it was your response about the Lord, not about the gifts and the miracles. Of course, we met out there at Benny's place, yeah, that's Benny right, Hen's that's right. place. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, just your response of the intimacy level yeah. of, of what you wanted from God. Why don't you tell the people about that? You still tell me about that Chicago <laughs> time, what, how that changed your life. Oh, yeah. Tell us about that. I think, you know, Chicago was very much like um, the first time I really started getting involved with the healing ministry you know you see yes. i seen you know benny benny hand do his thing but yes. you know it was kind of like oh wow it's first yes. chance of really seeing how god moves with people in the ministry yes um but i remember talking to you and uh as i was really going after strong for the gifts yes what i missed was something a little deeper you know because mm. i wanted the gifts you know i wanted I wanted the proof that God and yeah. I had a relationship, <laughs> yeah. but my mindset wasn't really on the relationship. Mm -hmm. But speaking to you, I remember you were just speaking about the relationship and mm -hmm. about how you spend time with Jesus and the visitations with Jesus, mm -hmm. and that just blew me away. And I remember saying, okay, oh, I really don't want that, I want this, <laughs> because if you have this, you that's can get a part that. of it. Exactly. Yeah. That's a part of it. Yes. And um, and then just the burning, just to be in his presence yes. became so much more important. Yeah. Uh, to hear his voice became so much more important. Yes. And to really understand that, oh, there's a friendship available yes. for me if I if I go for it. Yes. Um, I think I had tears in my eyes when you told me, you said you stood in that Chicago service. You said yeah. you went back to your wife. And oh, told her oh, something. Oh, 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 okay. oh, that, that was that just. Oh, oh, but, you that. oh yeah, what blew my mind. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh that. That's what you mean by what blew yeah. my mind. Yeah. So what blows my mind? I go, you know, we go to the service. Right. Um, in Chicago, we in, in Chicago, move in God. Chicago, and move God. God. People getting healed. People fall. But you come on stage, and um, and you pray for the, you pray for the whole church. Yeah. But in the middle of your prayer, you say something. Not even the middle. The very beginning of the prayer. Um, you say, you say, Jesus, all I want you to do is to let the people know that we are friends. And it changed my life. I was wow. just like, 
Well, I mean, and, I mean, and you have a healing ministry, and everybody's coming to get healed. Right. And you was like, but all I want you to do, right. <laughs> you know, all I want them to leave here knowing yeah. is that we are friends. Wow. And I remember running home and telling my wife, I said, Nancy, I heard a prayer that I just never heard before. Wow. I mean, it was so just honest. It's like when my son, I have, a, I have two sons, and I have right. a nine-year-old, and I have a five-year-old, and when he wants to play with his big brother, he's just like, oh, you know, Elijah, Elijah, Elijah. And then there's a point where he's just looking for his big brother right. to, to let everybody else know that yeah, he's my friend too. Okay, and he hugs him, and you right. see my little my little son just light up because you know his big brother is his big brother. Mm -hmm. You know, and he really loves his big brother. And um, and the way you said it, it was so childlike, and so honest, and so pure. And he was like, I just want them to know. And I said, I want that. <laughs> you know, I always I always gra gravitate yes. to that. And I was like. Oh, and I remember getting home and just getting with God and getting in the prayer room and getting in that closet. And I saw I your relationship. That. See, I've been walking with you for uh, about four years. Yeah. You've been around the ministry. I've yeah. got a chance to see you. <laughs> I've seen your relationship intensify with oh, God. Wow. Now, I'm talking about really in, intensify in depth from the time we first met up until now. Yeah. And you, you have no idea when you told me that story about how you went home to your wife. I said, God, here's another one. <laughs> I said, because how many Christians or real preachers do you really see they're hungry for the relationship? More than the gifts. More than the supernatural manifestation. More than the, the power. And God will give you that. But who's really hungry for the intimacy? And that's the key. It changes the Bible for me. I started reading the Bible differently. Yes. He, he just opened my eyes to how people were seeking that relationship with God. When you really look at Abraham, he really just wanted to spend time with Jesus. He wanted yes. to spend time with the Lord. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And he was always trying to spend time with the Lord when you yes. look at their relationship. Yes. And, um, and Moses, Moses just love being in the presence of God. Yes. You know, and that guy it, it was, would tear him apart when he had to go back down the mountain. Right, right, right. had to leave the tent. Or when God told him, I'm going to send an angel. He said, I don't yeah, want no yeah. angel. Then I don't want to go. Exactly. Are you kidding me? You know, if you don't come with us, we're not moving from here. And, uh, and you sit there and yeah. say, wow, what was that like? He wasn't talking about, I, I want more rocks to hit so right. I can get the water right. out. Or right. more seeds to split. Exactly. I want you. If you don't go, that's powerful. We don't. Can, I don't want to go. Can you imagine that Moses doing all these miraculous signs and wonders? Exactly. But his heart is, you gotta be with me. That's right. I want the relationship. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's, that's right. powerful. That's right. I believe in this generation, God is raising up with a clarion call a whole new generation of preachers. This is what He told me: a whole new generation of men and women of God, with their cry. It's not just for revival. Their cry is not just for what God can do. Their cry is for Him personally. Mm. And this, this is what America needs. This is what the world needs. The world needs the Lord personally. Most people don't even realize that they can meet Jesus personally. Uh, the church will tell them, you know, uh, listen, uh, the Bible says, blessed is he that believe and have not seen. He's talking about Thomas. You got to read that in context. A person who didn't even believe he had risen from the dead. We're not talking about that. We're talking about intimacy. We're talking about a relationship with the Lord. And I'm telling you, it's for you today. I remember getting off the phone with you. Yes. And you had said, you know, I, I think some, I think the Lord is going to come see you. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I don't know when, but I, I, I'm hearing it's going to be soon. Yes. And I said, okay. And I remember getting up there and getting to my little a little hotel room and the presence just filled this room and that night you know i had a dream of him of jesus just wow. and i was on his lap and he was he was in a chair like a real <laughs> magnificent chair not wow. a throne but a chair and we were at right. a table 
Wow. But I was on his lap. Uh -huh. And we weren't speaking, but he was saying so much. Hallelujah. You know, he was speaking to me, but not talking. See, that's yeah. what I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were like thinking. We were just thinking wow. at each other. Yes. And, and I was just in awe. I didn't say much, but he was just looking at me. And in his look, he was wow. telling me so much about who he was and who I am. And um, I remember waking up from, I mean, this was like a weekend of appearances. So you like, oh, wow. I mean, I could not not see Jesus. Yes. <laughs> I remember that yeah, season he was in. You called me on the phone. You yeah. said he came to me. Oh, yeah. I was so excited. I mean, he was coming to me like, um, every time I, I, I blinked, wow. you know, and, um, and I would have open visions, you know, even wow. coming back from Reading, um, I had an open vision of him just in the middle of the highway. Wow. You know, and I would see the heavens open. He would open up the heavens, show me the mountains in heaven, and show me so much. Wow. Um, but he had told me, he says, okay, you'll be, you will move there before the beginning of, the, of next year. And mm -hmm. our house is not on sale. This is not a good time to sell the house. It was right, a bad right. economy. Right. Um, real estate had dropped. This is after, um, you know, the market had crashed. And, right. uh, but I remember calling my wife and said, hey, uh, God is telling us that we're going to move up to Reading for a season. Wow. And um, so put the house on the market. Uh -huh. And how accurate God is, is it was December 20th. Wow. We did sell the house, but the house wasn't going to get into escrow until January 15th. Wow. And I was just like, oh, well, it's still the same. Even though God said, you will be here before the beginning mm -hmm. of next year literally December 24th right before 23rd they moved up the date that we closed on the 30th so on the 30th we moved to Reading so the next day was wow New Year's Eve it, it, I remember that yeah, you were, and, it, it and happened we, right on we celebrated the new year wow in, in a new place that is and God amazing. just did so many things for our family for our for my marriage um, and then he taught me how to to really walk around like Abraham, right? really understanding that he is with me yes. and how to know him in a different way, how to really accept a friendship call and not just a servant call. Yes, that, I love the way you just said that, to accept a friendship call. Yeah. And I said, did y'all hear that? <laughs> <laughs> That's tremendous. To accept a friendship call yeah. to God, not just a servant call. Yeah. Most most ministers and even people in the church, they're trying to find out what is my destiny, what is my call, and they always relate it to some type of work That's that God right. has for me to do. Of course, we know that God have assignments for us to do, but what about your call to relationship? What about your destiny to become close to God? Because these are the people for all of eternity who will sit close to the Lord for all of eternity. It's not those that do the greatest works. It's those who have the greatest relationship. Ooh. I talk about that in the second book called uh, My Trip to Heaven. I talk about how I was in heaven, how the Lord walked me around heaven. But this is the sequel to the face to face. In here, I talk about the right hand relationship and how when I was in heaven, uh, the Lord showed me these great preachers that have been on the earth but a lot of them were in the smallest places in heaven. Yeah. And he took me next to the throne where these right hand seats. And he says, David, do you know what these are? He says, these are reserved for my friends. The closest people who come into intimacy with the Lord are those who God is going to use for all of eternity. This, this is wow. just amazing. I, so I love oh, okay. what you just said. I'm glad I'm getting this. Yes. Because <laughs> this yeah. defines the eight levels of the highest relationship yes, okay. and so uh i'm just so happy to have you here no. and uh why don't you tell the people real quick because we got about a few more minutes mm -hmm. but um tell the people what it's been like i mean we're the same age right. but you have recognized me as your spiritual father yeah. and you've said that yeah. but what has it been like being a son around this ministry and what tell the people what they can draw from this ministry uh, uh, the, the, the main thing and the reason why I want you to say I, I love the way you talk uh, when I say I love the way you talk your perspective on things uh -huh. you seeing the real 
uh, the the real value of what's more important. Yeah, of I, I, since I've been captured by your ministry, I, I think um, the most important thing is we all love the miracles. Yeah. It is your time for a miracle. Please get your miracle. We all love it. Yes. But what you really carry is this desire that you have a it's a unique thing where because most people can't really pass on desire yeah but you pass on the desire that we all have but mm. you kind of water that seed that we all have within us oh. to know god yeah. to really know him not mm. to really not to know about him yes. or to, to to work for him yeah. but to really know him you That's know awesome the difference between being in the field and being in the house. <laughs> and, and, and there's a there's a difference. You I know? told you, this articulation is called the difference in being in the field and in the house. You know, and it's That's like powerful. God wants us in the house. Yes. He wants us to talk to him. He wants us to know him in a different way. Yes. So we don't worry about, oh, I hope the anointing's on us when we go over here. Oh, right. I hope I can have this or that mm -hmm. and what I've really pulled from you and I, I you know I'm, I'm honored to be a son to you because I tell okay. you we just kind of connected I tell yes. you God's great because yes. he knew my heart and then he knew even though I didn't know my heart at the time <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? but he knew my right. where my heart was going right, right and um and you just carry that you carry a passion for people to know God you, you, you carry a passion for people to experience God yes. and if it has and it's what's funny what's amazing is you they'll experience them through the healing yes. but then you say okay now welcome to the party like hey I just want to welcome you to the party that's so right. your gift yeah that's all right. right but now watch this yeah exactly this is more <laughs> now we're about to usher in the, the presence yes. of the king and yes. I want I want to get you to uh, it's funny because you know there's those um, those those parties where you meet the president or mm -hmm. you go in and you get to have a shake and spend a little time with the president those opportunities yes. and I believe that's your real ministry yes. you kind of put together these these events where you put people in situations where they get to meet the king yes you, you know what I'm saying? Yes. they really get to say wow and what Jesus face to face ex face to face wow. and people get to spend time and see that God is real. Like, no, Jesus is is real. A person. He, he's a person. He's he's no, really, he's real. Yes. It, 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 it's something that you can't know just reading the Bible. Yes. You know, it, it's something it you can't know. It has to be an experience. Yeah. You have to experience. Every yes. time you hear, you see the word knowledge in the Bible, it's experiential knowledge. Mm. It's not just understanding knowledge. It's right. Intellectual. It, knowledge. Yeah, it's not intellectual. It's yes. actually. He wants us to go through an experience. Mm -hmm. So when he talks about the knowledge, you know, the mm -hmm. knowledge of Christ, he's talking about an experience with God. Mm -hmm. he, he's, he's talking about a relationship. Wow. When, he talk, when, when Paul says, what well, my best line is, to know him, mm -hmm. the power of his resurrection, mm -hmm. you know, the fellowship of his suffering. Yeah. If we really understand what he's talking about here, he's like, everything else. And remember, he was the greatest apostle at the time. Right. He says, I put all that as dung. Yes. That all I my win. works is that, is that, that I may win <laughs> him. <laughs> him. Yes. It's all about Just him. him. Yes. Right. And the power he's talking about. He's like, I want his nature. Yes. I want the fellowship of his suffering. I, I want to I do what he does. Okay. Mm. So I want something beyond just going out, winning souls, and which is great. Yes. Which is healings and all. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. And it's lovely. Yeah. But what God really wants us, what's the will of the Father? To know him. To know him. You know, Je Jesus said, this is eternal life. Yes, that they to might know, know him. <laughs> the, the one true Lord. God and Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ whom he sent. And this is another thing he says, let the rich man not glory in his riches, or the right. mighty man in his strength, That's but right. let him glory. Glory in is that he understandeth and know me. me. And right. I'm telling you, that is the key for today. That's right. This is, God wants you to know him. And just like You've seen Richard's testimony and many others, how the Lord is appearing to them face to face. The Lord can come to you face to face. Now, listen, I'm going to be back to pray for you in just a moment. God bless you. Yes, 
clearly talking. He's been dead since his birth. Richard and I, we're going to pray for you uh, to receive this face-to-face -face relationship. Usually I would pray for the sick at the end, but the Lord just spoke to me, prompted me that we need to pray for you to come into this intimacy. And uh, I want you to stretch your hands toward the camera and begin praying for the people uh, to have a face-to-face -face relationship, not just encounter, but an ongoing relationship like Christ came to you as a result of, of, of hearing this message. Go on. Father, we just come before you. Yes, Lord. And we lift up every viewer who is watching this broadcast. Yes. And we ask you, God, that you water that seed of desire to know you. Yes. We ask you, Jesus, to go in and visit them. Yes. To, to meet them face to face to come into their bedrooms or their workplaces or their living rooms, Father. We ask you to walk in yes. and present yourself, yes. to let them know that you are living and that you are loving them. Father, we ask that their eyes be open and that their ears be open to the desire of your heart, yes. which is that they know you and that you can reveal who they are to themselves father we ask in the name of jesus Amen. in jesus name tremendous now i'm telling you a lot of you the lord is going to appear to you i encourage you to go to your bookstore get this book face-to-face -face appearances or go on our website you need to go and read this book not because we're trying to sell i'm trying to introduce you to the lord face to face everyone who has had this book the lord has appeared to now listen until next time i love you and god bless you bye bye mm -hmm.